Hey everybody, it is Oracle 684 back here, and I'm going to be showing you off a couple of autographs that I got. I went to Days of the Dead Chicago yesterday, and we're looking at my 22 by 28 Friday the 13th Part 2 poster. They had a Part 2 reunion, and the newest signature I got on my poster is Warrington Gillette. He was, uh, for all of you guys that don't know, or most of you do know, since you guys are big horror fans or big Friday the 13th fans like I am, Warrington only played Jason at the end without the sack on his head coming through the window after uh, Ginny. So I got his autograph right there. I kill for Mommy. It was He was really fun to meet. I mean, I really, you know, enjoyed him. He's uh, very outgoing. Uh, very, you know, down to earth. Very, very talkative too, which I really like. Uh, that's, that's what makes the difference. That's what makes, you know, what the convention experience great. Uh, by far the rest of everybody, he actually thought, Warrington actually thought I met all of the rest of the cast members, uh, there. And I told him, no, no, no. I have met the rest of the cast at Horror Hound Weekend in Indianapolis a couple years back. And the only one that wasn't there that's on this poster, uh, the only one that wasn't there for a reunion yesterday that's on this poster is Marta Cobra, who played Sandra. But uh, it'd be neat to get, like, Stu Charnel's autograph on there. That'd be awesome. I could have gotten Adrian King's on there. She was there, too. And as a matter of fact, that leads right up to my next one. I don't know how much you can actually see up there. But there it is. To Michael... Then he's still there. Adrian King, Alice. Uh, very, very down nerf. I got to talk to her for a couple of uh, couple minutes, telling her, you know, how much, you know, I love this film and the, the setting that it was in, which is beautiful. And I grew up in a family full of campers. And she was asking me, I mean, do you uh, watch this a lot? I think that's what she had mentioned. And I went and I told her, I says, uh, when I was growing up, I first saw these when I was like five. And uh, family would just sit in the living room and they'd come on, we'd watch them, have popcorn, just have a great time. I mean, she was just very, very down to earth. And she asked me if I saw uh, Jason Rising, and yes, I did. I mean, it was a fun uh, fan film and uh, very, very cool. Um, I'm glad I got her on here. I'm hoping we can get like uh, Harry Manfredini to come out to Chicago. Hopefully one time we can get uh, Tom Savini. That'd be great. Or even Marcy, uh, Jeannie Taylor, or even uh, Ron Milky. I think that's how you say his name. And then my third and final autograph that I did get, it's actually down here. I'm going to have to pull it out. And I got to meet my first time ever. A non-horror guest that they had there and this is Robin Lively who played Louise Miller and Teen Witch she was also uh, Jessica Andrews and the Karate Kid part 3 very very down to earth I think this is probably you know a really cute autograph you know it says you know my name which you know my name is Michael that's my first name so you guys know who Oracle is uh, he is uh, Michael and top that, Robin Lively, Louise Miller. I love the smiley face. So I'm pretty sure you guys seen all the uh, all the personalization. So Oracle is known as Michael, but I actually go on I actually go by Oracle on YouTube because that's my YouTube name, Oracle 684. But I got a lot of other collectibles here. Back to the Future, my first time ever owning the Back to the Future trilogy on 4K. I Never owned parts two or three ever, so I'm very, very happy of that. But yeah, I mean, it's a, a great experience, and you know, what can you say? Um, looking forward to because the next convention I'm going to is Indianapolis Comic Con in April 2022. So there we go, there we have it. Enjoy, take care, guys. Oracle 684, it's out of here.